villages are situated 35 kilometers northeast of Kosice in a rural area, in a, in a micro-region Ketzerovce Olszawski, founded a few years ago. Uh, we do work in five villages uh, with around about 10,000 inhabitants. From them are around about 8,000 Roma people, 2,000 non-Roma people. Uh, the non-Roma left in the 70s uh, because uh, an atomic uh, a uh, power plant should be built there and so they they left this place and more and more Roma settled there, especially after 89 when it got too expensive for Roma people to sit in the city. There was a, a strong gentrification process to make Kosice more nice and it is now more nice with a, the with a result that the Roma people are in a slum close to Kosice in Lunik 9 or they went to the villages. Um, my work, what I, I, what I do now is getting much and much less and that's, uh, that's uh, a sign of support, uh, of success. Uh, at the beginning I really was searching with a, a very experienced community uh, center uh, with, a, with a founder of this center, with Blanka Berkiova, I was searching for a place where is a minimum what, what YEP needs guaranteed. That means that they are able uh, to write applications because in our concept it is not the task that we are doing this. We need there the local minimum of uh, infrastructure and there was a small NGO there. I would say and in the last four or five years hundreds of young people went, uh, got active, they started with the youth clubs, then they were thinking okay we need a better access to higher education, so let's uh, uh, start a club a scholarship club. Let's organize that we are getting some scholarships that we can go uh, to the high school, to Kosice, because this is a big step going outside that costs money from where this money should shall come from. And uh, with a, also with uh, the support from, from our side, from, from, from the YEP community uh, and also from, from the foundation of the Erste, uh, the social, uh, the thought uh, getting on a long term a social entrepreneur is more and more in the focus. But step by step, at first they need really qualified, educated and so uh, um, bricklayers uh, in education, they started to work with the local stones founded just a few hundred meters away on the hill and you can do quite nice foospaths, you can quite uh, do a quite nice a wall or in the first meter of the house you can you can really in a very nice way and, and maybe this is a possibility for them to get small jobs. I think the chance for them is more that they are getting an, an, a self-entrepreneur and uh, then, then they are getting hired by somebody. And so this is one access. The next thing is now that uh, very important is also uh, as, and also a door opener is uh, the art. The bus stops are now and uh, the, the waiting room for, 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 uh, for a doctor is now full of quite nice paintings from young people. They did it with a local artist and this also shows the whole village. Oh, the young people do make our village nice and they are proud of it. This empowers the youngsters in, in, in their professionality. And through a long term I'm, I'm quite sure that such a process, not only in this village, also in other villages, could really lead to a change. But I, so far I was shocked when I have heard another great uh, project is the housing project of young people in one of the villages. There it was the idea that not a firm is building for them a house. No, they are. They have to at first to, uh, to take money to the side, to uh, sparen, is, to save money. For a year they trusted in the, in the community worker. He 
Okay, we brought it to the bank. They do not have a bank account. A bank account you might have if you have a house. Then you are credible, but before not. And, uh, and especially the young people had this trust. The young people had this trust and they wanted really to, to do the, go through this process. And then they, with an architect together, they developed uh, the plan of the house, it was changed, and then the bricklayer helped them to build it up. And they did it together. I was several times there when 20 youngsters worked together. Now let's do this fundament, next, uh, next day the other fundament. And now eight, nine houses are ready, the, the next eight are planned. It costs not much, it's just a micro credit who is needed and a little bit support from either outside, let's say all in all 10,000 euro and everybody has a house. But I was shocked when I heard that this is the only program through all over Slovakia who is working in that way. And I asked why. I said, okay, they decided to, to build houses uh, and that the uh, Roma people can rent houses. The big enterprises are building houses and Roma do rent the house. And I asked why? Okay, you do not know the country, how the culture of our country. That means the big firms who won in the competition, they gave to the one in the ministry. Also, in Poland you say Wapówka, I do not know how you say it in Czech. In English you say? Yes, in bribe. 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 Bribe, some bribe. And this is, if this is, I have to check it. I'm not sure if this is the reason, but why not to do it quite often in that way? The first step into our society, where the holy thing is property, the first step is that people do have property. Then they might have a bank account. Then they are credible. This is the first small step. And in this first small step, only in our small villages are the first things done. That's a shocking thing. I have seen a lot of projects where they are, with a goodwill they are doing something also internationally for them. But for them is not, is not working. It's only possible with them and from them. And this paradigm change is in, also in, the, in, a, in a lot of the, of, the, of the supporting world is not a mainstream. And if this process really has a chance to go on for 10, 15 years, this is a long, this is very short in the history, but very long for funders and for, for politicians, then I, I'm sure that there would be a great support in these villages and not only in this village.